Uh, New Deal must be fantastic just from the um, the family side of things to get everything sorted, mustn't it? Yeah, it's um, it's, it's been probably six weeks, um, obviously behind the scenes and the making now of finding out that the gaffer wanted to offer me a new contract. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's the, the security with what's going on nowadays with, with everything, football, obviously the outside world of, of football and yeah, kind of being tough out there. So it's it's nice to have the, the three year security for, for me, my kids, my wife and to know where we're going to be. And um, yeah, it's nice to finally get it over the line. I think there's a lot of rubbish written about you where, oh, he lives in the north, has to travel down. You all moved down, was that September, October? Yeah, yeah, no, we did. It's been, yeah, we've been up and down a little bit. Yeah. It's, um, it, it's, it's one of them things, like you said, if, if someone starts a rumour, it'll get, it'll get, it'll go bigger ten times. Um, but no, it was, it's been quite tough. Like I said, my missus had a job up north. We went back up there. Then it got delayed because of the, the pandemic. And then we, we moved back down. She was great with that, wanting to move back down and to concentrate on the football. And then obviously when the football didn't go as to plan and I didn't play, it was, yeah, it was, it was hard for me to kind of to kind of think obviously they've come back down for me and yeah. but obviously it's not going too well but I just thought to myself that it's part of goalkeeping that you go through dips in dipping forms and I think I've been lucky so far I've been here for so obviously four and a bit years and I like to think that probably before the pandemic I had a great four years of form and obviously I've hit my dip now but I don't think it makes you almost a bad goalkeeper for a couple of bad games it's it's um yeah, it's how some people think, but I like to think that yeah, it's part of what I signed up for, that you're going to get the stick when you make the, make the mistakes. But yeah, for me, like I said, I thought I had to get back into training, train well, train hard every day, and that's what I've been doing. And like I said, obviously Jack's been doing great, supporting Jack when he's been playing. And that's why I think, yeah, it's been, it's, um, that's probably why it's come. And got no, well, contract. I think it comes because you're a good goalkeeper, A. But also, the, the no dickheads rule applies at Oxford United. You lost your place in your team, you don't come in and sulk. I would say, and I'm not just saying this because I'm talking to you in front of the camera, you've been flying in training, haven't you? Because you've got a point to prove. Yeah, I think so. And it's a strange one, really. Like I said, when you've been here for so long, you kind of think that he maybe shouldn't have a point to prove. But obviously, after when stuff happens in games and you get a lot of criticism, um, which is, like I said, part of it against the Swindon game, fair enough, it's it completely understood. And that's something that you can have, a, like you said, become one of them and yeah. kind of sulk and, and, and mop about and think to yourself, oh, I need to get out of Oxford, I want to leave, I want to leave, I need to move on. But I kind of had the other mindset that I've got kind of unfinished business. I've played over 200 games here. Um, I don't want to leave on a, on a note like that. Um, the gaffer knew that, so I just thought to myself, I'll train hard every day and um, yeah see where it takes me and like I said I've been doing, doing okay in training and he said that yeah he wants to wants me to stay and wants me to stay around I mean it's when when somebody like I said I've had four years of playing week in week out no questions and and, and sooner or later you're going to get competition which I have now with Jack Jack's doing great Jack's flying um, but like I said one or well two or three couple of games you could say or two or three couple of mistakes doesn't make you a bad keeper um, that's what I've obviously said you know, everybody knows that. I don't mean I'm a bad keeper because I've had a couple of uh, bad mistakes, but I, I've not signed this contract. So I don't want anybody to think I've signed this contract to think that I'm happy just to sit on the bench kind of thing. Um, it's definitely, definitely not that. It's having the security, obviously, for your family. You've got to look after your family, number one. But at the end of the day, obviously, believe in my own ability uh, and getting back to where I was, probably, like you said, before the pandemic, before we had the break. Um, and yeah, playing obviously week in, week out like I was, but at the, at the same time, obviously supporting Jack when Jack's playing. Like I said, I'm not going to be one of them people that who um, who don't support him and, and help him along the way. He's, he's only very young. Obviously, he's not played too many games, so it's up to me to help him with, with the experience side that I've got on him to yeah to kind of help him through the games and and make sure he's okay.